Oh, we're in a new place now. Those three Sabbats, were they gangrels? I thought they were, but then we saw the moon behind them. So maybe they were like actual werewolves, because we know that werewolves exist. Oh, wow! Bustling nightlife, high rises, gargoyles, improperly parked cars on the curb. How is this person parking? Oh, wow. And we can go back whenever we want if we find a cab, I guess. Wow, where do we start? Baby sale? You sell babies? Exchange faces? Hey, honey. Looking for a date? That all depends. How much? For you, honey? 50 American dollars. Best money you'll ever spend. I promise. <laughs> I don't think so. You guys are too expensive. There's a cab. Uh, we're here to look for a Ventru Tower. It's probably the biggest tower in this whole place, I guess. Which might be this one right here. This one's pretty big. Oh my gosh, I can't get over how big this is. Holy crap. But not very many people on the streets. Maybe because it's pretty late. The Reckoning, coming soon. You've been in the workshop. You know, first of all, I'm trying to think back at what happened at the courthouse. I probably have to go back and see what happened again. But their normal procedure is to not let me live. But yet Prince let me live. There's got to be a reason behind that, right? And I don't really think Prince is the kind of guy who would randomly save somebody just because he feels generous. Oh my god, this might be an even seedier part of town than Santa Monica. What the hell is happening here? Well, you're not wearing any pants! What was that? Uh... Where you going, man? Whoa, 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 whoa! Um, I can't shoot at them because it's a... It's a masquerade area. It's not combat area. What the hell are they doing? We'll keep following, right? We gotta see this out. Oh, shiz! I, I didn't do anything. Don't. It was already like this when I got here. I'm taking that, though. Can I take that? Oh, I can't. I probably have full bullets. I'm out of here. Bye. Hey, was it you? What the hell happened there? That wasn't... This isn't what I'm here for. I'm, I'm here for the tower. It's probably this one. That was... That was random. Why is there biohazard people here? guy with a broken truck or is it really you Caitiff clanless vampires mm -hmm. LaCroix hey hey there missy small world eh Yep, after that gallery, I, I didn't think I'd be able to get a job guarding a room full of jack squat from the boogity man. <laughs> but then I get a call offering me this sweet night shift slot, and I'm back in the security game. Ah, <laughs> well, enough about my lucky break. Uh, you, uh, here to see one of the bigwigs, Missy? I'm really surprised he hasn't suspected that I'm the person who made him lose his job in the first place. Yeah, I'm here to see LaCroix. Would that be Sebastian LaCroix of the LaCroix Foundation, or Dwayne LaCroix of Insurrection Baby Formula Company? 
Sebastian LaCroix. Uh, okay then. Mr. LaCroix, he told me to expect someone fitting your description sometime tonight. You go right on up. Wait, the other one? Is that Sebastian's family member? <laughs> Do they work in the same tower? Have a good one. Yeah, uh, you have a good power meeting, or uh, whatever it is you types do up there. If you need any security, well, you just ring the front desk and ask for Officer Chunk. That's me, in case you were wondering. Thanks, Chunk. I'll remember that. What do you mean, did you say Chunk? That's his name. I don't want to be rude to him, okay? I already made him lose his job. <laughs> but I'll ask the first one, because that seems kind of... I'm not sure what they were expecting. Did you say Chunk? Ah, yeah, I, I get that all the time. The name goes back to my football days. Oh, actually, uh, my fantasy football days <laughs> uh, at the station. Stationarium. That was this office supply outlet mall I used to watch. Hey, you kids! No skating in the parking lot! <laughs> that was me. He's a career security guard. Right. Be seeing you, Chunk. He's nice enough. He's got two computers! Oh! A security camera. But no controls. He's just... He's sitting on the very edge of his chair. Wow, he's got some squatting skills. Why does this place feel so dead and cold? I mean, I know it's owned by a vampire, but still... Don't you want to blend in a little bit more? I guess I'm taking that one? There's no wall in between the two washrooms. <laughs> it's the same room. Okay. Penthouse? Oh, wow. Do we have some more cane stuff? Whoa, this this fire is pretty intense. Are you guys not scared about um accidental fire? Hey uh Prince, do you know where Mercurio went? The sheriff? Oh, he's massive. Oh. Your desk seems a little bit small. There you are. I was informed of your presence in the building. Since you're here, I'll take the liberty of assuming you've destroyed the warehouse. This is correct, yes? Uh, why is he cutting me off, man? Yes, that is... Most excellent. I had no doubt you'd prove my decision a prudent one. I trust you encountered no impediments to your progress on account of my personnel. Mmm, I might get people into trouble. Ha, but we did run into one person who was two-faced. The Santa Monica kindred were a little two-faced, but that's about it. A taste of what's to come. <laughs> you have no idea. You've done well, circumstances being what they were. I will admit, not many in your position would have overcome such a trial. But don't misunderstand me. It was no fool's errand. You may yet prove to be a genuine asset. It's a bit disturbing the lack of talent within this organization as of late. Tell me, what would you say to doing a bit of reconnaissance for me? You know, ever since the beginning, we never really got a proper conversation with Prince, but he comes across as somebody who's willing to... use people. Just look at what he's calling me. I'm an asset. So, probably not someone we should be... having undying loyalty for. What's in it for me? Uh, I don't think I should say that because he might get mad. I guess. What exactly do I have to do? There have been whispers. Rumors spreading around the Kindred community concerning the Elizabeth Dane. The cargo ship that was towed into port recently. Have you heard of it? I have. Yes, go on. The police are investigating the Dane as we speak. Even the Nosferatu have little information on what's been found. However, the reason the ship has caused such speculation 
is because it was transporting an object called the Ankaran sarcophagus. Now, I'm not one to predicate a decision based on conjecture, so what I need is fact. And more importantly, I need evidence that the occurrences on the Dane were not supernatural in nature, and in no way relate to this Ankaran sarcophagus. I probably should have said no, I don't know anything about it, just to get a bit more context. But from the TV, they said it's a derelict ship that they were trying to get close to. But I'm not sure what else they said about it. Hmm. What do you need me to do? You have three objectives. One, I want you to examine the sarcophagus for anything unusual. You may sense something peculiar about the sarcophagus. In fact, many kindred in the city have reported an uneasiness in the air since the Danes' arrival. Do not, under any circumstances, open the Ankaran sarcophagus. Secondly, the police have begun their investigation. Find out what they have concluded thus far. Thirdly, take the cargo manifest for the ship. I want to find out what else it was carrying. The last thing we want is police aware of our existence, so be careful what you do in front of them. And unlike the warehouse, you cannot wholesale slaughter a ship full of lawmen without consequences. Is this understood? So can I murder one or two? Or can I not murder any of them? That's hard. Maybe we want to increase our sneaking skills then. Yes. Good. Oh. And it has come to my attention that you had an encounter with Nines Rodriguez earlier. The man so does love to throw that cretinous charm of his brashly about. What exactly did Mr. Rodriguez say? He wants to know if Nines shit talked him. <laughs> he asked me to visit him at the last round. I see. Then, you should go humor the by the numbers rhetoric he's so desperately aching to spew. Oh, please, before the chance of fascist oppressor from that dive of theirs clog the air and choke the local kine. I'll go see him right away. Give the Anarch community my regards. Ah, Nines is not a Camarilla? Okay. Okay. Give the Anarch community my regards. Okay. Oh, well, I guess that's that. Okay, we gotta go on the ship and find something out about the sarcophagus. But he made it a point to mention not to open the sarcophagus under any circumstance. And I suddenly remember um that lady at the beach. She also said don't open it, right? So that might be related. It might be a good idea to periodically review what the lady said. Because some of those things, the more we see them, the more we listen to those words, some of it will probably start making more sense. Yeah, you go right on up and see Mr. LaCroix. Ah, let's see what we got on good old camera three. Oh, well, hello there. I've been thinking about you. Oh, yeah. I want to lick you all over. What? Then make my way down to your creamy center and... What the... Get your hands off my Bavarian cream! <sighs> Can I turn it off? No, I'm just looking with him. Yeah, you go right on up and see Mr. LaCroix. Huh? Is it, uh, cover me, Tubbs! Huh? Uh, <laughs> uh, must have dozed after a minute. <laughs> okay, thanks, Chunk. I'll see ya maybe later on. Oh, okay. The quests are separated by town. But we still, we can go back to Santa Monica, so it's not like this is done yet. Okay, cool. The prince wants you to investigate the Elizabeth Dane, but before you do, he wants you to contact Nines Rodriguez at the bar called The Last Round and find out why he wants to talk to you. Alrighty. We don't even know where the last round is until maybe we find a map somewhere. Probably around the bus stops again. But I mean, we don't have to go straight to the last round. We can just look around a little bit, maybe. Like, for example, what is this door? Oh, this seems kind of... 
Why? Hey, parking? Okay. I'm not allowed in, basically. Whoa, we have payphones! We didn't have payphones in our part of town. That's how you know it's downtown. And that's how you know it's 2004. Really haven't seen a payphone around in... forever. Hey, this building must be fancy too. There's a bunch of gargoyles and stuff. What's going on here? Although this is still the tallest one. Cause you know... He's rich and all. I guess the name of the tower is really Venture Tower. I thought it might have been a typo of Ventru because that guy's a Ventru, but maybe not. Oh, here we go. Empire Arms, Skyline Apartments, Nocturne Theater, 1112 Parking, Confession, Venture Tower. Yeah, so it is Venture Tower. Hospital, Hollow Brook Hotel, another hotel, The Last Round, Public Library. Nine? We can casually start walking over to Nine, which is at the very end of the city. Okay. Venture Tower was six. Oh, so it's actually we gotta we gotta keep going back the way that we came from initially then. This way. Whoa, who is this lady? You gonna go party? There's a cab. We can't even go in here. Can we? Oh. So what was that shooting about earlier anyway? We randomly saw people fighting around, but that's pretty much it. We started here. And then... Is there a map here? Yeah, we gotta go down. We keep going down. This way. Hmm. Maybe gargoyles exist in this world, too. Hey, there's more biohazard people here. Why? Do you guys know something I don't? Is there a biohazard going on here? Oh? What is that? I guess we gotta check it out, right? Although this building seems kind of... Whoa, what's going on at the top there? That doesn't seem... normal. Let's check it out. We might be checking things out too early though, just like how we did that with the hospital in the beginning. Oh, We are at an apartment, I guess? The Skyline Apartments, was it? Okay, this place is kind of freaking me out already. What the heck? What was that? Oh. Hi. Am I disturbing you? I'm sorry, you live here, right? I kind of just barged in your home. Greetings, Neonate. Might I assume you received my invitation? I have been looking forward to meeting you for quite some time. What? Oh, are you the guy that sent me the riddle? <laughs> I didn't even look at the riddle for so long. Oh, yeah, I got it. I'm assuming you are... I don't remember your name. Strauss. Maximilian Strauss. I am the regent of this chantry. Welcome. Thanks. What exactly is a Chantry? A Chantry is a local gathering place for those of the Tremere clan. I live here as do apprentices from time to time. Is that why the attic was a glowing purple? Cool. And you're a regent? What's that? A regent is the leader of a Chantry, as well as a teacher to young Tremere apprentices who are studying the mysteries of our clan. When I walked in here and started talking to you, you didn't even bother confirming if I'm a vampire or not, so I guess you have some way of knowing with some skill that you have. Maybe like aspects or something? Hmm. Can you tell me about the mysteries? I'm sorry, Neonate. The secrets of the Tremere clan are hidden from all but those who share our blood. You would do best not to look into them any further. Hmm, so the Tremere people were the ones with the blood magic, right? I don't know if it's forbidden or not. 
I don't think we ever found out from the character creator, but I assume it's forbidden because it's forbidden in Avatar, The Last Airbender. <laughs> okay, what can you tell me, Max? What's going on here in downtown? Let me give you some advice, young one. Your survival in kindred society will often depend on your ability to find out yourself what is going on around you. Remember that well. Yeah, it's been pretty overwhelming, but I'm I'm trying to do the best with what I have. <laughs> I appreciate the advice. As for what is going on here in downtown, the word on everyone's lips, kindred or kind, seems to be epidemic. Ah, uh, the biohazard people. Yeah? Why? What's going on? It seems that disease has been spreading at an alarming rate throughout the downtown population. Considering our particular... Appetites. The local kindred are more than concerned about these developments. Oh. <laughs> this is a little bit too real. Interesting. <laughs> What's in the second one? Interesting. Yes, indeed. My opinion is that the local Anarchs are responsible for these outbreaks. Their precipitous indulgence of certain passions often leads to such things. Ergo, their need for the watchful eye of the Camarilla. Maybe that's something we can ask Nines about. Camarilla? What's that all about? The Camarilla. It is merely a kindred sect that exists to protect its members from the outside world. There are specific codes of behavior that we abide by in order to ensure the continuance of our species. It is nothing more and nothing less. Back in Santa Monica... It seems like Camarilla were the only people that were moving into the space, but then here we clearly have like um Anarch territory and Camarilla territory all at once. Uh, I don't know how much we can straddle the fence with that because am I technically Camarilla? Or is that something I really decide based on what I see and how I feel about things? I feel like I'm automatically Camarilla right now because Prince saved me. Yeah? Although... Mm, well, after talking to him more, he doesn't feel like the most... He doesn't really instill confidence in you, you know? <laughs> so I'm not so sure about that either. I see. Can I ask you a few more questions about the Camarilla? Surely. What else would you like to know? Are all vampires a part of the Camarilla? No. There are many independent clans who are not aligned with the Camarilla. And the Sabbat is another sect of various vampire clans whose beliefs are very different than our own. Unsavory sorts, to say the least. I understand you have already run afoul of them. So you're the Camarilla, then. And maybe I gotta be careful, because if I'm asking a Camarilla person about the Camarilla, they're gonna say, yeah, we're awesome, other people suck. Automatically. Yeah, good thing Nines Rodriguez was there to help me out. Ah, yes. The infamous Mr. Rodriguez. I understand you owe him your life twice now. Had he not intervened, the prince would have surely had that hound of his separate your head from your shoulders. You're probably right. In any case, it's a shame that Rodriguez cannot see the wisdom of the Camarilla. He would make a powerful ally. As it is, he is a significant thorn in the Croy's side, which serves my purposes just the same. Oh? Ah, this person might be part of the Camarilla, but even within the Camarilla, not everybody likes Prince. Your purposes? Aren't your purposes and the Prince's the same? The Croy is a Prince, Neonate, and a Ventru. On What's top a Neonate? Of that. Even if he weren't as young and indiscriminate as he's already proven himself to be, I... but I say too much. Let us just say that he and I have differing ideas on the use of power. Indiscriminate? That's an interesting description. What does that mean? It's alright, you can trust me. What's your true opinion of him? And it's true, because I don't trust him that much either, so I definitely want to share info with somebody who feels the same. Hmm. Well, without saying too much... I think that Sebastian Lacroix lacks the usual discretion necessary to be a prince. I see in him a lust for power that overshadows his responsibility to the Camarilla. 
Okay, as the prince of the Camarilla, what's his job? His main job is making sure that everybody stays hidden, all the vampires stay hidden. But he wants power regardless of whether he keeps that a secret or not, I guess might be one way to read this. His responsibility to the Camarilla, what does that include specifically? Hmm, really? Perhaps you think you can do a better job? <laughs> no, young one. I aspire not to such lowly heights. My only interests are those of my clan and the Camarilla. In that order? <laughs> you will do well in this new life, young one. That I can see already. Well, I think that makes perfect sense, though. Yeah, you care about the people closer to you first. Camarilla is like... It's like belonging to a country. Yeah? You care about your family, your immediate family, more than your country. That's really normal, right? I hope so. A few more questions about the Camarilla. Surely. What else would you like to know? Why are the Anarchs in the Camarilla? The Anarchs feel that they don't need the structure and discipline of the Camarilla. I feel that they pose a threat both to those loyal to the Camarilla and to themselves. Most are mere children and need our guidance. Well, this guy's a Camarilla person, so he's saying the Anarchs are babies and the Sabbat are evil. Hmm. We don't need to- okay, we can think. The last thing I need is a bunch of geezers telling me what's up, but we don't have to say that, okay? <laughs> There's no- we get nothing good out of saying that to somebody. An interesting observation. I have a few more questions about the Camarilla. Surely. What else would you like to know? And honestly, at this point, I know nothing about the Anarchs, so I definitely want to go talk to Nines later on and find out more. For example, what's their core belief? I don't even know. If they're not in the Camarilla, does that mean that they don't believe in keeping vampires a secret? Doesn't seem that way. And Nines... At first glance, he definitely seemed like a good guy. Good guy? Well, let's not make blanket statements. Uh, I kind of already asked you about the prince, but what do you think about him? LaCroix is a prince. Right. Okay. I want to... Uh... Surely. What else would you like to know? I want to know about other questions. Actually, there was something else I needed. Of course. Maybe I can look into the epidemic for you. Hmm. An interesting proposition. If you succeed in finding the cause of this epidemic and putting an end to it, I will compensate you appropriately for your efforts. Hmm. Somebody like this, like, we could very simply ask what's in it for me right now, but is it gonna make that much of a difference? Why don't we make it a surprise when we come back then? Because I feel like sometimes maybe people would prefer that I'm not so focusing so much on the prize and the money and the reward. And then when I come back, maybe he'll be like, oh, thank you for not focusing so much on that. I'll give you even more. I'll do it. We'll figure out what you owe me when I return. Very well. Again, I recommend speaking with the Anarchs. You can find most of them at the local watering hole, reveling in the vices of their former lives. I believe the place is called <laughs> The Last Round. I was just gonna head over. I'll remember that. I have a few more questions for you. What is it you would like to know? Let's talk about something else. Of course. Ah, oh, nothing right now, I guess. I'm out of here. See ya. Oh. Even though he thinks the Anarchs are babies, he still says I should go talk to them. So this guy, as far as people go, he's not really trying to manipulate me that much. He's not like, no, no, I'm Camarilla, you should be too. Don't go talk to the other people. A plague for the angels. Right, so the, the riddle one is gone now, but I don't even know what the riddle was. Is it here or is it here? I just want to see the riddle again. What was it? Maximilian Strauss, Tremere Regent. I think he might be the first person who's disclosed to me his clan. Um, and it makes me feel a distance from him. Because immediately when he says, Hello, young one, I'm a Tremere. I'm thinking, oh, he's not me. He's not like me. We're both vampires, but we're not the same. And I feel 
very distant from him. The region has asked you to find the cause of the LA epidemic and put an end to it. He has suggested you speak with the Anarchs at the last round to get more information. You got it. I hope we meet a Toreador someday. Sometime soon. It would be nice. But seriously, most of the people that we've met... Maybe they expect us to be able to tell right away already, but... Wait, did I just come back to the same... What the... Oh, is this some kind of like a Tremere magic? Yeah, what the hell? Wait. Did I accidentally just go to the same place again, or...? No, no, they teleport me here. That's what's going on. Okay, man. Do you mind if I get out, though? Okay. Books. Thaumaturgical creatures. Uh, was that a Tremere thing? Oops. E. Bankins Regent Chicago. Another Regent. Another Tremere person? So Regent can only be a Tremere person. Gargoyles. During the medieval conflict with the... Simisi. Clan Tremere delved further into the secret blood magics and created a race of protectors known as gargoyles. Since their inception, gargoyles have been used as scouts, warriors, and sentries. Gargoyles are monsters, vampires by virtue of the blood and flesh through which they are created. Wait, what? Gargoyles are vampires? Oh. Huh. They are no more than the detritus of other clans, given a second chance to serve their Tremere creators. Oh, they're like familiars, I guess? Unfortunately, many have wrongly come to view their service as slavery and have fled their masters in search of some delusional utopia. Most escaped gargoyles lived in isolation, preferring solitude to even the company of their own kind. Homunculi For the most menial and mindless tasks, many Tremere create what is, a, what is called a homunculus. These are mindless creatures which take many forms, winged, many-legged, or otherwise. Homunculi are unfailingly loyal, but their appearance makes them a serious threat to breaking the masquerade. Well, so are the Nosferatu, right? We can't use it, probably because we're not a Tremere, I guess? It's okay, I can keep it and put it in my library at home. Okay. Oh no, where did I come out of? Yeah, okay, it's time to get out of here. Excuse me, I'd like to get out of here, please. Thank you. Should I bother going up? It's locked. Huh. Interesting fellow. Pretty cordial, too. I wonder how he figured out I'm, um... Fledgling. Probably by how green I look. Hopefully not physically. Huh. Unsuspecting little building in the middle of nowhere. Oh, that's gotta be the last round, right? That's so anarchy looking. Freeze, motherfucker. Freeze, motherfucker. This part of town is so seedy. What is going on? And the biohazard people aren't doing anything! Oh god, should we call an ambulance? No, let's get out of here. Yeah, anarchy! Mm-hmm. Of course the Camarilla. They get the nice big tower in the middle of town. And then the Anarchs get a back door in some random alleyway. Wait, is this the last round? Doesn't quite look like a bar here. Hi. What's up, sister? You enlightened? Mmm. Yeah, I am. Sorry, sister. Come back when you become enlightened. I need a password. I need a password. Okay, I will be back. I guess I'm at the wrong place. No, this is something seedy. Something seedy happening in the back alley. 